On Monday, Samsung may finally tell the world what went wrong with the Galaxy Note 7 phone. You know, the phone that spontaneously catches fire. According to Reuters, a news agency in South Korea is reporting that January 23rd is the day Samsung plans to release the results of its investigation on what was causing the phones to overheat. This product disaster was the largest safety recall in tech history, and consumers are left wondering, how can they trust future Samsung products? Experts outside of the company have a few ideas on what went wrong. It appears there wasn't enough space around the battery, and that put stress on the battery when it swelled, because all batteries swell a little when they charge. Who knows if Samsung will actually admit what exactly went wrong, but the problem continues to linger. Verizon tells Fortune magazine that thousands of customers are still using the dangerous Note 7 phone and not turning them in, even after the carrier pushed out a software update that was supposed to render the phone unusable and unable to charge. It seems some people holding out have found a way to get around the software update. But Verizon isn't stopping there. Fortune reports that if a Note 7 owner on Verizon calls 911 one, the call will be rerouted to the company's customer service department. I'm Bridget Carey. You can stay on top of the never-ending Note 7 drama and other tech news at CNET.com.